This is Serenity Leisure's video for this uh, 2008 Eldis Sunseeker 130 that has just arrived with us. Um, this is running on the Peugeot 2.2 and um, uh, Peugeot 2.2? Yes, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a moment then. Um, and uh, the object of the video is for you to uh, basically get a really good insight to the condition of the camper. Uh, and people coming from a long way away do find these videos very helpful indeed. So I will go around and I will point out any markings that I can find to it. Um, there is a very small, fairly insignificant mark here, which somebody has touched in. Uh, nothing really, but uh, and the front end number plate's out of alignment, but that'll get sorted out when it goes back in for its, goes in for its service. Um, other than that, the cab area is very, very good. Um, along this side, much the same. There's a couple of small pimples that I, I clocked earlier on. I'll try and point them out, but they're pretty small. So not overly obvious. And where was the other one? Just there. Can you see that? Very small one. Uh, other than that, on this side, it's pretty much unmarked has the electric step. Well, I'll explain all about the inside when we get the uh, rear bike rack. <coughs> Excuse me. Had its 2018 habitation service already. And then down the, uh, this side, you've got the cassette toilet on this side. There is a, see over there, small marking here. Uh, that, seems to be about it I got a very small pimple mark at the top but I can't get up there and point it out to you because I'm not that tall other than that condition wise I mean I am brutal with my videos and I will point out any markings at all so it's better to be honest with people um, <coughs> okay that sort of addresses the outside of the unit so internally right uh, somebody's only gone and left the lights on and the heating yeah so I will shut the door just to keep it nice and warm in here lovely right uh, essentially this is classed as a five berth so I'll just start with the cab obviously it's standard sort of five speed gearbox <coughs> electric window central door locking uh, multi-function steering wheel that's all there um, the um, seats don't swivel because they don't integrate into the lounge it's not necessary um, on the uh, not necessary on the what? Well, it's just not necessary on this motorhome. Um, because you've got plenty of lounge space anyway. Uh, that big bed there, or the, or the section sort of folds away when you're driving and then pull it down and then you've got a, uh, the big sec the big bed area, uh, which is great. Cab bed and a ladder obviously to get up there. So then I will just turn around and try and give you a sort of aerial shot of where we are regarding the interior. There you go. So you can see how it's laid out. This does. This either turns into a double bed, or you can turn the whole thing into a double bed. The whole, the whole area. But otherwise, you could sleep two, sleep one, and then sleep another two at the top. That's not to say it wouldn't be cramped in here with five people. It would, but it's you know you're spending most of your time outside anyway. Uh, Forward-facing seat belts here. Uh, obviously, not necessary on the um, uh, rear-facing seat to have belts. You could fit lap belts there if you wanted to. Uh, electric dual fuel heating rather so it's electric and gas this long bench seat here which has got lots of storage underneath it um, storage at the top here lots of overhead space there is a small mark I mean it is no there isn't I was going to say there was a small mark to the table but actually there isn't you've just got some very slight the varnish coming off the edge here but uh, <coughs> I thought I saw an indentation to the table, but there isn't. Um, but that, that can be sorted out, that's nothing to worry about. Um, upholstery is absolutely spotless. It's very, very good. No markings, no skags, no scuffs. And then end kitchens, which are ever so popular. Uh, we do really well on end kitchen motorhomes. Especially the eldest ones, because they've got a really good name, they're known very well throughout the industry. Um, there you go, condition of that, three burner gas. Oh dear, don't slam doors. And then you've got your tech. I mean, it is absolutely spotless in there. I don't think you can see because of the light. But you might be able to see. Yeah. She's in lovely condition. Uh, Dometic fridge freezer. That's the 
we didn't pick up that phone call. And then the bathroom. Yeah, so you've got a Tetford um, electric flush toilet. Sink that just drops there, drop down sink, just saving on space. And then obviously the shower area here. Plenty of room in there. It does what it says on the box. And again, condition wise, lovely. Finally, a wardrobe area here with the television aerial going to the top and a rail obviously to hang your clothes. There we go. Okay, that uh, completes Serenity Ledger's video for this uh, 2008 um, Sunseeker 130. Thanks for watching.